Welcome back to module two, lesson number five. This has been a highly requested topic that I cover for a couple years now. And it's such a very simple process. So I'm finally going to throw this into the course here and show you how to do it. It's called multi-channel fulfillment. Very basic. This means when you send things to Amazon, you don't actually have to sell them on Amazon's platform to have them ship. Amazon acts as a fulfillment center. This means they will process and fulfill orders no matter where you are selling them. So they will store and warehouse and ship your products even if you're selling on eBay or if you sell to your friend down the street but your inventory is at Amazon, you can tell Amazon to ship it to your friend down the street. It's called multi-channel fulfillment. Very simple to do. I'm gonna show you how to place an order right now. So here is how multi-channel fulfillment works. Most commonly, you're going to use this for eBay. How this works is you need to create an eBay listing for a product that you already have in stock at Amazon. Once the eBay customer buys that product, you then go here to Seller Central, follow the steps I'm going to give you, take the tracking number, upload it to eBay, and Amazon's going to ship the product directly to that customer. And here's how that works. Let's go in here under Inventory, Manage Inventory. So let's say that I sold this pair of Nikes on eBay. When you create your eBay listing, you need to know your numbers ahead of time. And this just comes down to when the product is in Amazon, you need to go through this process I'm gonna show you right now before you even create the eBay listing so you can see how much the shipping time is going to be and how much the shipping cost is going to be. So that when you create your eBay listing, you can put the accurate data in there. You don't wanna be shipping this out on eBay and listing it via two-day shipping if you're not gonna be paying for that extra two-day shipping on the Amazon side. I'll show you what I mean. Let's say I made an eBay listing for this shoe right here it sold, I'm simply going to click on that listing. Under action, I am going to go to create fulfillment order. All we are going to do is fill out your customer information, which eBay will show you what, once that order is placed. You take all that customer info and place that right in here. Now, since I did not actually sell these pair, I'm not going to complete the entire process, but I'm gonna show you enough that you know exactly how to do it. So for the sake of this video and training purposes, I will put in my information here. Once you have your information of your customer input right there, you can also take your eBay order ID and submit that right here as well. And you can also put that, well, you can leave this checked right here, same as above, and we'll just auto do that. If you have any specific comments that you want to place within that on this bottom right you want to confirm that the quantity is going to be correct so if they ordered two units you want to make sure that you're going to be updating that you are going to hit continue on this page it's going to say choose fulfillment action we want amazon to ship this inventory if you select standard shipping this shows it's going to get delivered by friday march 15th and for the sake of the video i'm recording this on a friday so this is gonna be one week for shipping. So you can do this part ahead of time on your item so you can see exactly what the cost and the time is going to be. Then I would create my listing. And if I wanted to have $7.12 as my shipping charge, I know that's what it's gonna cost me. Then in my eBay listing, I can put one week for my handling time or my shipping time. And if you're gonna do free shipping, you can work this into your eBay price that it sells for, or you can charge the customer $7 for shipping. If I know I wanna do two day shipping, and again, this is Friday at the time of this video, so I can get this here by Monday, and that's only gonna cost me a little over two bucks more to get done. So from a customer satisfaction perspective, paying an extra two bucks to save on five days of shipping time is gonna be a huge value. So I know that if I want to do two day shipping on this shoe, I can now go over and create my eBay listing and I can put three day shipping as a, as a safety cushion. And that customer is going to order it. I'm going to come back here, go through this process, put in their information, select two day shipping, double check that I've got my eBay order ID right here. I've got the correct shipping to address for the customer. Again, if you want to go back and edit any type of comments, and this is going to be based on the packing slip that's going to be with it to hit place 
order. And lastly, do not forget to take the tracking number and upload that to the eBay side so the customer gets confirmation that their order is officially shipped and they can check on it. And of course, for the eBay side, you want to make sure that your shipping is accurate on your metrics. So just go ahead and take the couple seconds it takes to upload that tracking info over on the eBay side. That is it. Very simple process, but I think it's just something that unless you see it on a video like this, it's something that most people don't even bother looking at. Not only have I used this for creating eBay listings from scratch on inventory that I either want to get rid of or maybe something went restricted, that's a common way that you can help move this inventory. Instead of paying 50 cents per unit to have it sent back to you, which you then might list it on eBay anyways, if you have a way of having photos already done, you can then just keep your inventory at Amazon, make the eBay listing based on the information you should know up front by going through this process. You then have a way to get rid of excess inventory if inventory goes restricted on you. Here is a backup method to help liquidate. And that's it folks, multi-channel fulfillment 101. I hope that helped clarify how to do this. It's a very simple process and it's a great way to help move some of that excess inventory. Thanks for tuning in to lesson number five. We'll see you for the next module.